Well, I was headed to the land of Nada, but it's had a little sprinkle. You can see it's a terrible cloud down, another cloud over here. I'm afraid if I go down there, they'll close the damn beach. I'll be stuck. So I'm going back on the bay, but I'm going about five miles to the west. That big old park we hunt sometimes in Norfolk. See how that goes. Mumbles man, he can't make it today. He's got a nasty procedure this afternoon. You know them colonoscopies things they call them where you have to drink all that nasty crap and they ream you out a little bit and put a camera up your doodad and check you out. I had one about a year ago, my second one. Anyway, that's where the Mumbles man is today. I know he was would rather be here. But sometimes things happen the wrong or right way, it depends. I'll get back to you in a little bit. I got about 10 minutes to go, and I've seen two big flashes of lightning already right through there. I better use my wooden handle scoop today, huh? What do you think? Wood, electric, lightning. <laughs> Yeah, might be on a wild goose chase. Hear it? Look at that. God, this guy right here just told me they closed the beach. Freezing up pretty good right now. Damn, I don't guess I'm gonna get in a spin today. Guess I better head back to the Rancho Max. I may have to go there. Two of my buddies went there yesterday. It was terrible. Worse than where we were. That's why I ventured down here. Got the rigs flags flying. Man, it looks bad. Big, it's everywhere. Almost 300, it was a 180 degree storm looks like. By clouds, that is. Ketos. <laughs> there goes the neighborhood. I stopped at another spot on the way home where there's no lifeguards. But it's got worse now. I'm doomed not to get in a spin today. Can't go tomorrow, got that damn knife gig. I could go Thursday. But I can't go Friday. Maybe I can go Friday. I got a big project I'm working on. I told you yesterday. I'll bring you in the loop. Friday, probably. Big project for me, anyway. The biggest project of my life in 20 years. You're going to like it, though. As I am. <laughs> Look at that. Good gracious. Lightning. Thor and Zeus. I don't like it. They're having a good time today.
hope I make it home in time now. Well, we made it before the storm. Got a few little showers, but a lot of thunder. Some lightning. Hello. Got your rope in then? That's your favorite rope, ain't it? Mm-hmm. That's all I want to do is tug. Tug. I'm a tugger. I'm a tugger. <laughs> and you're just jealous. Because all you want to do is play damn ball. I should be eating figs now. I don't know what's going on. There's the first hint of brown. Maybe I'm just a week or two early. I'm thinking that maybe it's me. I don't know. Oh, there's one there. Aha, uh -huh, look at that ticket. Not quite ready. They're getting in shape though. Watch this. This is an Indian's favorite ticket right here. He wouldn't chase that down rope if I could get her to find this ball you see her right there oh where is she who's the Indian at Jack she go inside she did she's scared huh okay we'll walk over here and see how the gardens do it we've got some tomatoes oh there's the Indian over there hiding tomato zilla some fat heirlooms Good God, my damn leader better come out here and pick them peppers. This pepper pepperzilla. Great balls of fire. We got more peppers than a Mexican place. Look at that. Look at that. Indian. Come on. Oh, you shut up. You the big old jack. That's right. Circus train jack. There's one there. Pretty close. I can get that one tomorrow. Ah, all these figs make me hungry. We have to go in here and find something to eat. My favorite snack. Northern cherries from Rainier Fruit Company in Salina, Washington. And Swiss cheese. Baby Swiss from Sargento. I like it. Well, all we got was thunder and lightning. And it's still remaining. It looks like it's over the land of Nada now. So I ain't got much time. I'm gonna take a spin out front here. About an hour. Hour, maybe 90 minutes, all depends. Can't miss an opportunity, you know. Stand by. Like I said, two of my buddies were down here yesterday. And they did worse than me and the Mumbles man did. So I ain't looking forward to much but exercise. But you just never know. We got a nice little slough sort of like right under the drop off. Because the tide's low right now. That's why I want to go. That old storm looks like it's right at Nada. A choppy 16. I'm betting a bottle cap. I brought I brought my little hole scoop today. It needed uh breaking in. It dries out around here and gets kind of loose. I need to get it swelled up. 
I ain't used it this year, it's the first time. Stand by. Right about here, in shore, where there was a slough, Easter Sunday, what was it, 2016, 17, 18, 17, I think, it's where I found that Lady D diamond and sapphire ring. I've been from way down there where you see that orange roof house. Well, the next house, two, three houses down, is one of their construction. So I've been that whole distance. I got a pull tab and a bottle cap. It's a uh, exercise, like I said. Uh oh, damn. Got a scratchy. Really scratchy. We might have bottle cap number two. Oh, it's, I hit it. It feels like it might be metal or something. It's sounding better now at 11. I'm pretty sure it's a bottle cap. Now it's at 13. I might hear it. No. Kind of deep for a bottle cap. That might be a big iron now to that deep. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking now. Big iron. Or a little iron. Well, we got it. Whatever it was. Yeah, there's a nice old bottle cap. Number two. We got 11. Solid, no scratchy, nothing. Nice sound. It does jump between 11 and 13 now. Ah, it's got a little scratchy sound to it after four scoops. I don't think I like it now. So deep. God, I'm going to get a Chinaman up here in a minute. Well, we got it. I don't hear it, so that could be a bottle cap. I don't. Oh, I see a five cent. That's why it sounded so good. Five meager cent. Look at that. Huh. I like it. Now, I have not hunted this beach right here in two years. This has all been replenished. I'm sure people have hunted it, but not me. It's my first time venturing past the gargoyle house, we call it, where I found Lady D's ring. But it's been replenished with people too, and, and gold and treasure for at least two years. Oh, that'll be something here. Size of a nickel. A little pull tab. A little bottle cap. That's the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. We used to fish and hunt around that all the time. See that little cottage right there in the middle between them two condos? 
from that little cottage, you see that pink house? Well, from that pink house, about 10 or 12 houses to the west, for 25 years, that was a hot spot. We dug more gold and silver out of here. Un it would be unbelievable today. Chicks Beach. 30s, 1930s, 40s, and 50s, this place was hopping. However, well, there's a pink house. I'm turning around right now. Stand by. Well, we got an eight here. I've dug a dime, I've dug two pennies, got another bottle cap. And now I got a solid eight. Deep eight, whatever it is. Both the bottle caps are really deep. Nothing there. Stand by. Baby bling. I'm glad I carried this scoop. Look at that. Baby bling. That'll fell right through my other scoop. I moved inshore about six feet, maybe ten feet, from where I've been coming down from. So I hunt back in this range for a while. About 20, 30, 20 feet off the beach, I guess. Just over my knees. Things are picking up. We got two ounces of gray matter. Like a fresh drop. Fast ticket right there. Them fins on that baby. I'm getting surrounded again now, look. Coming in from behind. I better get cracking. I am finding a little bit of change right along here. I'm having a much better day than I did yesterday. Two dimes, two nickels, one gray matter, baby bling. A few pennies, some nice caps. See you tomorrow, knife gig.